Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl. I hope you all are doing good. So today's video which I am going to take uh, is on BMC ADDM and uh, people who are aware about BMC ADDM as a discovery tool, they know that the data which we are you know, discovering through uh, ADDM, it is finally synced with BMC Remedy. So today's video what we are going to see is that how this data is synced with BMC Remedy. So we have already seen how to run the discovery. If you are not aware about this discovery tool, you can go through my previous videos for ADDM. So you'll come to know how to run the discovery. Then once this discovery is enabled, it is running, it is you know, uh, scanning the network, getting the uh, your network, network components, nodes identified. Then finally, uh, the main uh, you know task of this ADDM is to populate the data into the BMC CMDB or we call it as uh, now as helix cmdb so this is what we are going to see today okay so let's get started so now <coughs> i'm here in the bmc uh, you know uh, discovery console or we call it as addm so what i need to do i have already logged in here so i need to go to this configurational settings so here you will see all the uh, you know uh, settings or all the configurations for EDDM whether you have to do you know clustering discovery consolidation by the way I have already taken a video on this <coughs> the two main aspects of EDDM so today our uh, topic is something else so today whatever uh, what we are going to learn is this CMDBC so I will explain you how it works how it functions so that in future if uh, you know uh, definitely if you are implementing EDDM this would be the main task you have to perform to uh, you know populate cmdb because then then that's the main use of uh, getting the uh, you know discovery set in your organization so once it is set you are uh, you will have a you know a clear understanding of your network data as i said nodes then this once it goes to cmdb then the operational activities on those nodes will be carried over so you know, uh, you will get a clear understanding of what is happening in your infrastructure. So to get that picture in your, uh, you know, um, organization, you have to sync this data to CMDB. Otherwise, <coughs> there will be no, <coughs> sorry for my sore throat. Yeah, so uh, there will, no, will not be any, you know, significance of discovering the data unless and until we will derive some business value out of it. So the business value or the monitoring uh, value or the monitoring aspect of it, how we define it is you discover it uh, through a DDM, then we sync it to CMDB. And then finally, when uh, you know tickets are being raised, like incidents are being raised, requests are being raised. So we can attach those you know, nodes and um, uh, to the um, incident or to the request. Then, you know, there will be a, uh, you know the incidents or request will start piling up on that particular CI. So uh, at a you know particular moment, if you open the CI in CMDB or a discovered item, you will come to know that what is happening on that, like how many times it was upgraded, uh, whether there were any issues on it. So you'll all uh, get a clear picture of that. So that's the main reason why we do this sync. So now how to do it? So we have to go here in the CMDB sync. This is a very clear basic thing because uh, both are PMC tools. So the you know the sync or the configuration is simple now they have um, earlier we used to do it only through er but now they have added some more additional parameters so now to add a new sync i have to click here on add cmdb connection now you have to fill in these details okay <clears throat> now as i said earlier we used to only do through um, you know remedy um, ar system so we used to provide these username password for remedy then the IP address of uh, Remedy server and it, it, because we are expecting this to be in the same network, then we'll connect it to the port and then it will, you know, uh, start exporting the data. But uh, now you can also, you have multiple options here. If you use Remedy CMDB legacy API, that also is available. That's the one which I was talking about. Here you need to type, type the network address, username, password. These credentials are for BMC Remedy system where the CMDB is installed. Or if you want to, you know, uh, make use of uh, REST API, then you have to give this REST URL, which will be the 
you know uh, the rest url through which we connect to remedy system i have already taken a video on this for the rest uh, apis so you can go through that video if you are not familiar with the rest apis then you provide this username password then if there is any proxy this is normally if you have a proxy server you can uh, provide this uh, details so that it will directly it will not uh, you know because um, sometimes in organizations you go through a proxy server so it will connect through that proxy server and then it will land into the remedy system so here you will provide the uh, you know your uh, uh, cmdb connections in a name i would say cmdb connection something like this we are not going to build it because it is already built there so i'll i'm just explaining you okay now <coughs> this is clear this is the connection details you need to understand uh, you need to uh, select uh, the component here if you want to integrate with remedy force then you have to select remedy force if you don't want to export then there is no export like normally we will not will not export it but there will be a uh, you can create a data model here and then start populating it so we will not go into that much to that we'll focus on this only okay so you will uh, provide these details connection details then these are the settings for the configuration between addm and cmdb so if you want to keep this as a continuous sync you have to select this checkbox then this is the batch size so this again uh, increasing decreasing the batch size will uh, you know increase or decrease the performance of your sync so uh, you have to uh, you know make sure that you are not uh, setting this batch size as a bigger batch size then it will take time to process it and sometimes maybe due to overload the system will hang or it will stop uh, the sync so you need to define this ideal scenario okay then uh, when the data is um, uh, sorry then we have this concurrent workers you can uh, define this this is the uh, the sync kind of threads which you can define so internally then how many connections you want to create for this thing if you have a big uh, you know chunk of data you can define this more than one but normally uh, one is enough for this to be you know synced then the data side id this is very important <coughs> we'll also see this in cmdb that in cmdb there will be already a data set id defined as if you have uh, addm installed bmc addm will be a data set id defined so all the data which will be exported from addm and which will be synced with cmdb it will go to this data set okay then afterwards we do with the normalization process for that that also we will see okay then uh, data model so if you want to populate also the uh, impact details uh, uh, then you can select the standard impact details or if you do not want to uh, populate these impact you want to define the impact in cmdb itself then you can select the uh, no impact it this is basically the linkage between the uh, items so when you export the data from addm to cmdb normally when addm will discover a data it will create a relationship between different components for example a server will be linked to multiple software instances whatever is installed on that for example we have java installed we have oracle installed we have some database installed we have some application installed so it will create a relationship then that server may be part of some vm component so it will also create a relationship so now if i want to import this relation in uh, ship into cmdb then you have to use this standard data population or if you do not want to do that then you can select this one. so now uh, let me not create anything because it is already done so let's go back here so you can see here there is a already defined connection let me click here once you add this it will come here as a row like this okay so if i click here action then edit that means i am <coughs> i'll edit the existing connection you can see here this is already defined they have defined it through bmc url then we have username then if i want to set a password i can set the password for this link then data set id they have defined this as bmc order maybe this is just but normally when we import the data to cmdb we do it through the uh, we define it on data set of bmc add okay then the second tab you have here this is the basic one once you create this connection you will get these options is the filtering so you can filter that what type of data you want to send to cmdb so if by default you want to set everything you don't have to define it anything here but if you want to filter out the data 
then you can do it here okay you can you can define the uh, the uh, the only data which you want to send maybe some data you do not want to send to cmdb that you can define then uh, we have the other option as blackout windows so blackout window is a time when you do not want to sync to run so that is the time you can define here you can add that black uh, blackout window and in that during that period the system will not run any sync stop it okay this is just the basic use of it then resync means in case you want to uh, do um, resync it will complete it will resync the complete data okay from here you can directly start it but if you want to do incremental resync then that means it will only send the the delta data so whatever was already discovered it will not touch that but if uh, there is a new data added it will add that prepare only means it will not send anything it will just create the uh, it will just start preparing this data in the addm then here finally the status so here you will see only the the status what is the current status of this how many devices you have sent to cmdb devices so whatever has failed whatever is kind of a report you will get here devices that has failed last cmdb sync devices that has succeeded cmdb link so if i click here on devices succeeded it will give me the list of the the devices or the count which has been sent to cmdb for example the hosts 513 hosts are sent to cmdb now if i click on this it will open up the uh, the actual hosts which are sent so now you can pick any of these items and then you can go to cmdb and if i let's suppose let me take this uh, this node let's see if it is available in cmdb so i'll open this so we will this is the uh, service modeling console we just want to don't do not want to go here because i have already explained this so hide visualization let me just copy this name okay this is the addm part addm addm part we have already seen let me go back here let me go back to the the main console where we were so you can just uh, go back back so because uh, we were just seeing the the data which was synced with cmdb so it will give you the type of the data which was sent to cmdb this is the data which is basically which has succeeded the sync now also if you want to see what uh, data has failed so you can click here devices failed last cmdb sync that also can be seen here so there isn't currently anything which has been uh, you know which has failed to sync but definitely in in a real time environment there will be items which have failed to sync so you need to go to that then it will give you a message it will give you an error what type of error is maybe that is a legacy device not identified by uh, <coughs> uh, cmdb there is some other issue there are some uh, parameters missing so you can get that error definitely you come to know that what is the issue then you can fix that issue then do the resync then that time it will sync it now if i go here in actions again for this particular sync so from here i can uh, disable sync i can resume the sync i can reset the counters so let me say resume sync so resume sync means currently it has been paused so once you resume it you can see here cmdb connection okay that means it has tested the connection you can also go to the details section and there also you can test this connection if i say test connection okay connection test successful that means it is connected to cmdb and once you run it that on that time also it will make this connection okay if it is okay okay and then uh, it will now the currently the sync is on so let me say apply that means it will now start syncing to cmdb so once uh, it will start syncing it will take the data and this is what i explained you that it will now push it to cmdb now let me go to cmdb portal so here I have just copied a name of an uh, item so let me do a quick search on it let's see if we are able to uh, just a minute okay the name was this so that was the name of the item yeah so i just made a search on it because this was the host 
which uh, was discovered by ADDM and now you can see it is already successfully synced. So it is part of our CMDB now. So similarly when you run the sync in your environment the uh, the data will be uh, you know the data will come to your CMDB system. Then in the CMDB you can <coughs> basically once it comes to CMDB it becomes a CI. Then uh, you can raise tickets on it, you can uh, create a relationship in it, you can define the relationship, you can view the relationship. For example, for this particular item, you can see the relationship with it, like how many with uh, different softwares it is linked, with how many different hardwares it's linked, you can see all this here. You click here, it will uh, bring me the, the other relationship, the parents of it. So this is basically service modeling in CMDB also you can do it, in ADDM also you can do it. Then if I go in edit mode, I can also edit this item. So once it comes to my, uh, my you know, my CMDB, then I, I also can edit this. Okay, if I click on show CI details, then you will, you will come to know that you will see all the, uh, you know, uh, details of this particular CI. Like what is the name, description, what type of um, host this is, all the basically the node related details. And then... Uh, Currently, if you see this particular, uh, this item, it has already been reconciled. So the data set ID here is BMC asset. But when you will bring it uh, to the um, CMDB system, that time this uh, will be BMC.ADDM or whatever asset ID you have set here. Data set ID you have set here in discovery, the same it will go to. Then you need to do a reconciliation. Okay. You need to run this uh, reconciliation. I have already explained in my videos how to do CMDB reconciliation, normalization. It's all explained in my videos. You can go through that. So you need to run the reconciliation process. Then uh, once it's reconciled, then it will come into the main uh, CMDB process. Because otherwise you will not be able to, even though it is in CMDB, but it will be still in the BMC ADM data set. It will not be a uh, part of the golden data set, which is BMC asset. Okay, so you need to reconcile it before you start using it in CMDB. So maybe you have imported the data, you have run this thing, and then you are wondering why the data, uh, why I'm not able to see it in the actual CMDB while creating tickets. I'm not able to relate it because it's not reconciled. Okay, you need to reconcile it in CMDB to get it, you know, uh, to merge it with the CMDB CI's family. Okay, so now if let's suppose this CI, if I right click on it, it will give me some options. Like for example group children show ci details edit instance markers duplicate expand parent so now there is this launch option if i click this so it will show me some different options like for example which i was talking about sorry i have just missed it so here if i see bmc incident management so here i can see view related incidents that means how many incidents are related with this particular ci that also i can see from this uh, cmdb so that's part of you know bmc remedy or a cmdb that i also explained how to weave this in uh, bmc um, C, cmdb how to weave it will not go much into this detail but you can also this is also an option to see it. <coughs> so uh, i think this is it from my side for this uh, particular this was very uh, you know small short video it's basically a basic thing there is no uh, you know uh, much uh, you know depth in it it's like simple configuration because both systems understand each other you have to just enable the configuration from here and then it will start working if still you have any doubts you can ask me in the comments i would definitely um, answer your or clear your doubts okay thank you thank